The Chittagong Armory Raid, also known as the Chittagong Uprising, was an attempt on 18 April 1930 to raid the armory of police and auxiliary forces from the Chittagong Armory in the Bengal Presidency of British India now in Bangladesh by armed Indian independence fighters led by Surya Sen. The Raiders The Raiders were members of revolutionary groups who favoured armed uprisings as a means to achieve India's independence from British colonial rule. They were inspired by the 1916 Easter Rising in Ireland and led by Surya Sen. However, they were ideologically influenced more by the communists in Soviet Russia. Many of these Raiders later became communists. The group included Ganesh Ghosh, Lakenath Bal, Ambika Chakrabarti, Harigopal Bal, Tegra, Ananda Singh, Anand Prasad Gupta, Tripura Sen, Bidhubhusan Bhattacharya, Pritalata Wadadar, Kalpana Dutta, Hamangshu Sen, Bainad Bihari Chowdhury, Subod Roy, Manaranjan Bhattacharya. The plan Sen devised a plan to capture the two main armories in Chittagong, destroy the telegraph and telephone office, and take as hostages members of the European club, the majority of whom were government or military officials involved in maintaining the British Raj in India. Firearms retailers were also to be raided, while rail and communication lines were to be cut in order to sever Chittagong from Calcutta. Imperial banks at Chittagong were to be looted to gather money for further uprisings, and various jailed revolutionaries would be freed. The raid The plan was put into action at 10 p.m. on 18 April 1930. The police armory in police line in Dampara was captured by a group of revolutionaries led by Ganesh Ghosh, while another group of ten men led by Lakenath Bal took the Auxiliary Forces Armory now the Old Circuit House. Some 65 people took part in the raid, undertaken in the name of Indian Republican Army, Chittagong Branch. They failed to locate ammunition but did succeed in cutting telephone and telegraph wires and disrupting train movements. About 16 of the group captured the European club's headquarters in Pahartali, now the railway office next to Shahjanan Field but there were few club members present because of it being Good Friday. Upon learning of the situation, the Europeans were able to get the alarm out to troops, which the revolutionaries had not expected. After the raids, the revolutionaries gathered outside the police armory, where Sen took a military salute, hoisted a national flag, and proclaimed a provisional revolutionary government. The revolutionaries left Chittagong town before dawn and marched towards the Chittagong Hill Ranges, looking for a safe place to hide. A few of the members including Ganesh Ghosh, Ananda Singh and the teenagers Ananda Gupta and Jiban Ghoshal were elsewhere, and almost captured at Feni Railway Station but managed to escape. Later they stayed in hiding in a house in Chandanagar. Aftermath After a few days, the police traced some of the revolutionaries. They were surrounded by several thousand troops while they took shelter in Jalalabad Hills near Chittagong Cantonment on the afternoon of the 22nd of April 1930. Over 80 troops and 12 revolutionaries were killed in the ensuing gunfight. Sen dispersed his men to neighboring villages in small groups and thus some escaped. A few fled to Calcutta while some were arrested. An intense crackdown on the resistance ensued. Ananta Singh gave himself up in Calcutta coming away from his hiding place in Chandanagar, to be close to the young teenagers captured and under trial in Chittagong. A few months later, Police Commissioner Charles Tegart surrounded their hideout and in the ensuing exchange of fire, Jibin Ghoshal was killed. Some of the revolutionaries managed to reorganize. On 24 September 1932, Debbie Prasad Gupta, Manaranhan Sen, Rajat Sen, Swadesh Roy, Fanindra Nandi and Subodh Chaudhary led by Pritalata Wadadar, attacked the European club, killing one woman. But the plan backfired and police searched the absconders. In Kalarpol encounter Deba Gupta, Manaranhan Sen, Rajat Sen and Swadishranjan Ray were killed while the other two, Subod and Fanny were wounded and arrested. During 1930-32, 22 officials and 220 others were killed by revolutionaries in separate incidents. Debi Prasad Gupta's brother, was sentenced to transportation for life. <laughs> 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 
Topic: The Armory Raid Trial. The mass trial of those arrested during and after the raids concluded in January 1932 and the judgment was delivered on 1 March 1932. Twelve of the defendants were sentenced to deportation for life, two received three-year prison sentences and the remaining 32 individuals were acquitted. The twelve deported to Andaman included Ganesh Ghosh, Lakenath Bal, in 1932 16-year-old Ananda Gupta, and Ananda Singh. Capture and death of Surya Sen The Chittagong Revolutionary Group suffered a fatal blow when Masterda Surya Sen was arrested on 16 February 1933 from Gairala village after a tip-off from an insider of the group. For the reward money, jealousy, or both, Netra Sen told the British government that Surya Sen was at his house. But before Netra Sen was able to get his 10,000 rupee reward, he was killed by the revolutionaries. Surya Sen along with Tarakeshwar Dastadar were hanged by the British administration on 12 January 1934 after inhuman torture in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Film adaptations A Bengali movie Chattagram Astragar Lunthan was made on the Chittagong Armory Raid in 1949. It was directed by Nirmal Chowdhury. A Hindi movie, Kalain Hum Ji Yan Se was made on the Chittagong Armory Raid in 2010. It was directed by Ashutosh Goarikar starring Abhishek Bachchan and supported by Deepika Padukone. It was based on the book Do and Die, The Chittagong Uprising 1930-34 by Manina Chatterjee. Another film, Chittagong was made in 2010 and released in October 2012. It was directed by Dr. Badabrata Payne, a former scientist in NASA who resigned from NASA to make this film. Manoj Bajpai was the lead actor and played the role of Surya Sen. <laughs> <laughs> Sen. 